And we are back in games, of course. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> God Sorry. damn it, Kim. <laughs> He does this every time. <laughs> and then it's just stuck in my head. And I'm sitting here like, <laughs> Bob's like, are you paying attention, Ryu? Yeah. I'm jamming out, asshole. What the hell did I miss? <laughs> Life. A We're lot. back from outer space. <laughs> oh, all right. We just walked in to find here with that so look upon your face. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you now. <laughs> I'm with you now. Okay. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, right. yeah. So, friends, hi, yeah, yeah. a figure hi, bursts yeah. out of a box. Can I scream that when I come out? Hi, yeah, yeah. Would your character scream that? I don't know, but. What's the know. first thing I hear and see, my friend? That's what I need to know. After yeah. 10,000 years, I'm free. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a full of Rita Repulsa. Hi, yeah, yeah, clap. <laughs> <laughs> Assuming that it's not Rita Repulsa. <laughs> what actually springs from the box? Um, Obviously, I'm covered in sweat, and I'm pissed off because I've been in a box for God knows how long. Like, maybe for God's know how long, I guess, would be more appropriate. It's literally a dick in a box. Uh, a in a box. <laughs> Describe what you look like, Senor Pipi. <laughs> In your baby. <laughs> I have a sombrero and five tacos. God damn. Dios mio, no! <laughs> Donde esta el donkey? Uh, oh. It's burro. It's the burro. <laughs> it's like the first, first word everybody oh, learns. Burro. I didn't learn. I... He already did say Rocks Spanglish. So this is, this might be his Spanglish. It's way Chiva! Kill him! So, uh... <laughs> oh, alright, alright. Let me pull up my sheet so I can get exact. I'm I'm obviously a goblin. Um, I'm pretty... I'm pretty stacked for a goblin. Pretty, pretty stout. Um, but I am all of... I'm stout for 210. Uh, Give us. Get, let's let's not get descriptors like he's he's at <laughs> Gold's right, gym right, right, right now flexing. Okay, like I, let's find. <gasps> is he wearing clothes? Does he have yes. eyes? Give me some descriptors. <laughs> okay, so he has El Pollo Loco himself. Come on. I don't, I don't know. Like maybe grass green colored skin. Okay. Uh, he has very pointy ears. No hair. Uh, a slight tuft. Like very very slight facial hair. Because you know goblins really don't have a lot. If they do, um. Unless they're like a chieftain or something. Very large hands. Um, abnormally, very, abnormally large hands. But super large hands with really long nails um, that mm -hmm. look like they've been filed down um, more so than a normal goblin. Uh, and then I am wearing studded leather armor and uh, I look really sweaty and I have so, silver eyes. Wait, let, let me get this straight. So I cut the strap. Palaka and I are standing in <laughs> front of this chest. The top pops off, a greasy goblin springs and goes, Ayah! I don't say the ayah, yeah. That was. was I am okay. definitely hitting you with your own sword. <laughs> I, 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 I'm just, well, I'm holding it still from just hitting the box, and I just bash him with the flat bit on the top of the head. <laughs> Do you actually? Yes! Wow. Okay. As a dwarf, a <laughs> goblin just popped out of a chest in front of me. Yes, I whacked him. Remember, okay, before before we spray to that immediately, like that's <laughs> that is a tr a tremendous stereotype for the traditional Western lands of Galarian. You are in Egypt. It's the equivalent of as such. Goblins when aren't do common you think here. I've never seen a goblin. I've goblins, never seen a goblin. Yeah, they're not very common around these parts. In fact, you likely may have never even heard of goblin. Maybe you've heard so of it, but never seen So when this green skin, pointy eared, fucking big handed creature. I it's just covered in sweat. Pops out of a box in front of me. I did say that I would be passive coming out. Palaka asked if I would be declare what? peace, and he said declare K. peace. Sorry. And I did Action. not hit you with the pointy side of your sword. I hit sure you with the flat side of your sword. If, if I if I see him winding up, can I? I've been really interested in seeing like what this is in here. Uh, Palaka really won. Like the reason she immediately busted him out is like, what is this? Is a mystery. In the middle, and mysteries need solving to Palaka. And now, whatever the mystery is, uh, she sees a bossy winding up to hit it. Yeah. May I, on reflex, to try to save the goblin, cast ear piercing scream on a bossy? Sure, sure. 
Since there's okay. no like this, this is the equivalent of, of a surprise round. You'll both go at the same time. All right. So Did you roll for that? I think that's a Constitution saving throw on a bossy's part, which yep. kind of oh. works to my disadvantage. You get a fortitude. <laughs> Fortunately for you, that's my fortitude, and that's all I got, if I can remember where it is. Yikes. <laughs> Rats. Well, that didn't even earn odd, right? It's, yeah. I just came out of the box and it's, you already hit me. It's not an even earn odd, actually. He additionally gets a plus two versus poison versus spells and spell like abilities. <laughs> ah, no. Rats. Is this how you um, get friends as you hit them? <laughs> It worked really well with Zenjifar. Oh that he's, <laughs> he is still going to take uh, 1d6 points of damage. Half 1d6 okay, points of damage. Sure. You get to so, take one. It's minimum one. He's still going to hear like a sudden like ear piercing scream though. So which my is, ear just starts to ring. He's like, oh, what the f... <laughs> what was that for? <laughs> oh, you're casually just like... <laughs> What the fuck was that? <laughs> Go ahead and, and make make an attack. If you're gonna turn it to the flat side, oh. it's still gonna be lethal damage, but you've got to hit him. Damn it! So <laughs> it's gonna be a d20 plus your strength modifier plus your base attack bonus. I am just trying to subdue him by knocking him back down. Okay, so you're, so you're you essentially. Said it was... Are you going for subdual damage then, like non-lethal? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not trying to kill him. It All was right. just this thing popped out and scared me, and I dapped it with his own sword. So it's <laughs> you just your typical to... melee, and we're gonna subtract four from it. Uh, so one d one d twenty plus your strength modifier, okay, plus your base attack bonus minus plus four. Uh, what the fuck is hey, my Hey, bonk on the head. Three, three. It should be, yeah. Um, minus four? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does that hit you? Uh, versus my CMD? No, your your AC, your, your armor class. All my AC is 21. Whoa. Okay. How really? the fuck does everybody have more armor than the tank? <laughs> 21 is huge. Yeah, I told you I was pretty beefy. Yeah, you also lost your armor, didn't you? No, mm -hmm. it's, he still has his armor. He was locked up. I, I have it. It's yeah. just barely on. I oh, need to go. Okay. It. So you take a swing, and as you do so, you thought you would have connected, gone full whack-a-mole, but he just happened to step right out of the way, easily enough. A medium-sized character? Likely, you would have knocked mm -hmm. him out. But this guy, he's very nimble. Incredibly nimble. The sword just... connects with the sand. It slaps down. Just holding the sword still, he looks at we don't know yet, the goblin, and looks back at Polaka and goes, you know, I spent a lot of time in tombs, and I'm sorry for that, really. I'm not as worldly as someone like yourself. But why are there green cats that wield swords? He's, uh... And Polaka, like, really has to search for the word for a minute, but she's like, he's a goblin. You do not have them here. Goblin, in the sands, goblin, perhaps. Goblin... And then he starts saying goblin in goblin, 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 goblin. <laughs> oh, I read that. It's from the book. I read it. Yeah, no, it's true. Ryu, what do you do? Like, he just tried to strike you with your I'm own just, weapon. I'm glaring at him like, so I don't mean to interrupt your guys' conversation, but you tried to hit me with my own. You unlocked me from the box and you tried to hit me with my own sword after declaring peace. Well, this no, I one, never... I just, I don't, is this how you, who? Uh, you I must just... excuse this, uh, this large specimen here. He is quite jumpy. We've just come out of a tomb. Is this your husband? <laughs> like, do, do you keep no, a Do not guy? saddle me with that thing. God, husband. <laughs> ah, ah. And then, and then Palaka suddenly remembers she's wearing a disguise and just like drops it, revealing her true form. Before oh. he was, is a Tengu. There's a bird lady. I must. I think I'm going to sit down. Oh, you're you... going to sit down? A talking cat just jumped out of a chest and dodged the sword. I am not a cat. She she although a it is. Thing. Although I must admit it is strange to hear a goblin so um, well spoken. Where do you come from? I've, I've been around, you know, doing things and stuff. I, uh, oh yeah, this one sounds just I'm like Zanjifar. I've been places, I'm from things. You're uh, not gonna turn out to be the bastard son of the goblin pharaoh, are you? 
What? <laughs> Remember Zanjafar? <laughs> Yeah, likely dead now, by the way. Can I have my sword back, please? Uh, please, give the cat a goblin his sword. You know, actually, I'm kind of interested to... Arbasio planted in the dirt. He's like, oh, I see him pick up. I reach over, pick it up, and I put it on my shoulders like it isn't shit. <laughs> <laughs> in order for you to do that, in order for you to do that, you you know that generally, like, because he's, he's hoisted it into the sand, he's essentially buried it. He's gone full shovel. <laughs> for you to for you to grab your weapon, it's just a small feat of acrobatics, which it's not that hard for you. Yeah. Okay. He swings ass over kettle, grabbing onto the handle of the blade and hoists it right out. But the way that he lands, almost like a sort of somersault, he plops the blade over his shoulder. It hangs down, essentially hunkers into place. But you realize his hands seem to fit. They seem to be a bit more of a hand in the forearm of a human, or at least the size of such. The rest of his body does not quite match. He's got a bit of, a, like, Popeye syndrome. You know, I got lots of questions. The top of the list is, where the hell was a guy like this when they were signing the checks for Big Donk Energy to send us down to that bloody tomb? So can I... Can I ask you for the water since you tried to kill me right when I came out of the box? Ah, uh, our apologies, and uh, and I I toss him a full water skin. Uh, I ch I chug the water completely, like with no hesitation. Probably voraciously, so likely dropping his sword to the sand and just almost maiming the bag itself. Now, uh, how did you come to be in a chest out here in the desert where there are no goblins? So. I I do uh, I participate in fighting. Um, one might call it pit fighting. Uh, there's the guy that puts me in the box. Uh, his name is I call him Dickhead, and uh, sounds like Pasha Pook to me. He I, I apparently I fell somewhere. Hmm. And so you are uh, lost luggage. I don't I don't even know where I am. You are outside of Waki. <laughs> I'm that was thin. adorable. <laughs> you don't have pants on. I can do. <laughs> well, she did not. She usually doesn't have pants on. Can we go? <laughs> <laughs> what do you need? or not? I'll be right back. Give me one second. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> I. <laughs> that was actually adorable. I'm like, where is this voice coming from? Is this suddenly his new character? <laughs> He's the voice that's the voice of the name. character. It's a, that's our sixth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was funny. It's a pretty fun <laughs> character. <laughs> that came back. And he was never seen again. I'll, I'll put a name up very soon. As soon as he gets back and they actually think to ask him of his name, we'll uh, we'll put up a title. But we can see his name. You can. The viewers can't. Uh, they can. <laughs> they, <laughs> they definitely can. She was not wearing pants before she, like when I went out there to pee last time, she was not wearing pants. I was surprised she came in here with anything on. Uh, because my household is full of not wearing pants. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's because he rolled acrobatics, so we've seen just it. Just threw up yeah. in the bathroom, and then she comes in here but, like, <laughs> acting like you know she's still kind of sick. She stayed home from school, and then she sees D and D, and she's like, "Oh, D and D, oh, can I have a trash can to throw up in?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure." Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the joys oh, of man. fatherhood. God. You just look twenty years into her future. <laughs> <laughs> oh, D and D! I need another oh, book. <laughs> Can I have one heart attack at a time? Try to kill off my brand new character. Uh, the future. No. Perfect. <laughs> Dude, this episode is the burn of Ryu. I've, I'm already ginger. Can you like slow down the burn a little bit? <laughs> Once a month, tune into the roast of Ryu the Red. <laughs> Hi, my name's Ryu, and uh, this is my Comedy Central roast. <laughs> my birthday tomorrow, by the way. Uh, you know, it's not enough that I'm turning 32, and I don't have a mustache, and I look Amish. Happy birthday, Ryu the buddy. Red, 32, going on 12. <laughs> oh, 
I know I'm going on 13. My wrong oh, springer. Oh, shit. My bad. My bad. I'll bring the fancy balloons. <laughs> can I have Spider Man on it? Like, I can. Oh, for sure. We can. Oh, right. Right. You only get one, though. I get one <laughs> Amish. You get one get balloon. Generic Amish Spider Man. Blacklight and myself hit all of the helium. You only get one. <laughs> Happy early birthday, man. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate no it. No problem. Thanks, thanks to the chat. I didn't even see they were saying happy birthday. No. I'm just uh, happy birthday, dude. Having a heart attack. Your birthday's a week before mine. That's awesome. I thought I was going to get bub banned. <laughs> well, we're never having <laughs> you back. <laughs> I went through all of this work of rolling this damn character. <laughs> oh, my God. I even last minute changed my weapon. He was like, yeah. God damn it, Ryu, can you not? Oh, yeah. You know what? I, do you have any idea what I've, I've dealt with? <laughs> it's like, I want to play... I want to play Cloud meets Guts. Can I play Cloud Guts? Guts Cloud? <laughs> Can I play Cloud Guts? There's a... <sighs> no! You cannot! <laughs> you will not! I, I didn't roll as a summoner, at least. Or a centaur. <laughs> should you just check him by my to play Yuna going. instead? <laughs> you, should, you should roll summoners, man. You should just oh summon the shit out of things. I'm like, Bub would never speak to Is... me again with how I play video games and how I would make a summoner. <laughs> <laughs> Ryu, is is the cloud thing why you have giant forearms like the old Final Fantasy VII models? <laughs> it's amazing. It's so good. It's the only thing he let me have. He was like, Ryu, you have giant fucking anime hands and silver eyes. It's all the fucking edgelord anime you get. Because I was going to... What else would I, did I oh want to... Oh, my God. I wanted to name him... Uh, well, I'm, I, I don't want to spoil it. How many Something... of the party have fucked up silver eyes now? Wait, we have. Oh, that's right, because you uh, have the. My yeah. eye got fucked, and his eye is fucked. And <laughs> you have silver <laughs> eyes. Has been. We're creating a coven, and he doesn't even know it yet. Just like the last one. I'm on hand. Don't you dare, <laughs> you dare touch giant. my eyes. I'm the very. Giant. Giant. Oh yeah. When when the, we when we decided that he was blood. playing a goblin, he's like, "Can I have the giant blood ability?" Like, you're a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Let's just, let's just that doesn't God. even oh make sense. God. How does that physically? All right, I don't want to think about that. That's why his arms are so big. Yeah. It makes sense. <laughs> it was, it was, it was bizarre. To, Goblish to gigantism. <laughs> but we have come to this, and this is where we return to that character here. You swig down the entire water skin's worth of fluid, which, for the record, accounts to about five percent of your body weight, likely making you ill. Give me a fortitude save. I've been sitting in a I'm box gonna... for days. If you throw up that uh, water, a bossy is just going to start fucking ragging on you immediately. Oh, we've got more. <laughs> One more? We used almost all of our supplies down there. No, I refilled my water skins and cast Purify Food and Drink okay, in the, uh, with true. the running water. True. Most people, we shredded two or three of them when we were down there fighting the snake. True. You, you would... You would notice that if there was any more water, this would likely draw a sickness out of you. You are overheating. You've taken on way too much fluid, way too fast, and it's it's rolling your stomach at this point. You're probably nauseous, likely like salivating from the mouth, dripping even. It's it's a little intense, but for the first time, you've had not completely boiling water on your stomach. Do you say anything? Do you do anything? Do you what do you do uh, here? Um Okay, so I chug the water. Um I appreciate the uh the water, but uh can we not swing any more weapons at me? Like Ooh. I'm almost uh I'm almost ready to just not be outside the box, but I do appreciate you freeing me. Uh, you would prefer to be in the box? It would. It was safer in the box. Uh, perhaps, but uh, do you spend most of your time in the box? This box, that box. A uh, lot of lot of containers. Uh, you will spend 
Oh, most of eternity in a box. Why spend what little time you have alive inside of another box? Does the bird always speak in riddles? Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. He's asking why in the hell you want to be somebody's slave and thrown into a pit every day instead of just going out, breaking some heads and taking what you want. Uh, it's not that easy. I, I've, this has been a long time thing. This is kind of a heavy question for me. Oh, boss, you can only picture Zanjafar and Don Corn. He's like, not that easy, not that easy, not that easy, not that easy. Lisa needs braces. It, your master. <laughs> your master. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying. <laughs> Don't plan. Your master, does he uh, hold other slaves? Uh, lots, of, lots of slaves. Uh, people yeah. that fight, ogres, uh, humans, uh, weird people that I kill. I don't know. I just, uh, I win. I d can we go somewhere? It's really hot. If you have fought many battles and you now find yourself with no master, uh, do you perhaps seek a new master and new battles to fight? I really just want to get out of the heat because I'm not, I don't like sand and there's no water anywhere. I drank it all. There is quite a cozy river, uh, some that way. And we, and Palaka points back the way from which we came. A bunch of goes, I You are now a free goblin. You may do as you please. Dolby is giving. He's just got a sock. <laughs> <laughs> I just, like, I'm just sitting here like Dolby is free. <laughs> it's it's not a it's not quite a lit light bulb. It's kind of flickering a little bit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, I can we again? I just want to go somewhere where it's not hot, and then we can talk semantics. I don't think I would know the word semantics. Likely uh, not. I, I don't want to talk things in riddles. I, I just want to go somewhere where it's not hot. God uh, don't do well with sunburn. Yes, indeed. Um, I suppose you could come along with us if you seek companionship. Uh, uh, one moment, please. And Palaka turns to Obasi. Oh, the companions are dead. This could be quite useful to have him along. We don't know that. Listen, all right, I, I, I wholeheartedly believe that Zanjafar got himself killed. That's fine. Donkor and Neferani are smarter than that, you'd think, a little bit. They're not. Mm, come on, I can hope, can't I? Uh, it, would it not then be useful to have a replacement for Zanjafar? He was quite handy with a blade, and this one seems to be as well. He was handy at taking a blade, that's for damn sure. But this one's definitely faster. You know, let's just go back to the, what is it, the Tooth and Hookah? Yeah, let's let's go find little Chompy or whatever the hell his I, name was. Did I hear Hookah? Hookah? I love, I love Hookah. Yeah. We'll take this Slavic mess and we'll go, it's fine. Slavic mess. <laughs> I'm, I'm now. What? <laughs> I'm now from Mother Russia. <laughs> did I hear Hookah? <laughs> <laughs> Very well, we are not far from town, and there is a uh, place nearby with provisions and hookah. I love, I love, I love hookah. And not, <laughs> and not sunlights and burning in boxes. Hey, shade and smoking. Very well, it shall be yours. <laughs> she reminds me of Borat. <laughs> 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 So do you take do you take the goblin with you to the tooth and hookah? Uh, I Palaka is seeing this as somebody who is used to having a master suddenly being without a master and not really having any direction. So she's going to kind of opportunistically invite him to come along. Yeah, sure. Do you introduce yourself by any means other than bird lady and and brown dwarf? Blaka certainly wouldn't. I'm not really. <laughs> she's not really one for the the pol the polite uh, the niceties. On the other hand, the boss is like, well, if I'm stuck going with this little one, and you know, I've always been stuck with Palaka, I've got to go back to this tooth and hookah. Put our feet up a little bit. I'm not always gonna call you Green Cat. What is your name? Wait, you, you want to know my? You actually want to know my name? 
You have Somebody's a name. Somebody's got to call you something, don't they? Well, you usually they call me little shit and get in there and kill that thing. Uh, but the other the other slaves call me. Well, they call me a lot of things, but I go by Ronin. Ronin. Very well, Ronin. You may accompany us to Wati as far as the Tooth and Hookah. If you would like... Go ahead. Sorry. If you would like some company. I would like to not be burned alive in the heat. Hmm. Oh, yes. Very well. And uh, and I'm going to conjure my feather cloud back and and sit on it. Start putting off towards town. I think that I would stand there for a second, like, because I don't I don't see a lot of magic. It's usually just pit fights and whatever. And I'm just going to kind of stand there just staring at the. Uh, it, don't the mind the bird. The, 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 fuck it. He's a little bit of a weird one, if you ask. Well, she's, oh. she's, she just comes and flies in. She's got all sorts of weird feather things. I don't. I don't okay. Yeah, things. no, it's good. I. Hmm? Is there something the matter? And I'm gonna I'm gonna turn suddenly, and my staff is kind of like laying flat across my my lap, with the cauldron hanging off one side. So it's gonna swing and like definitely gonna be head level with one of these guys. <laughs> uh, Jesus! Let's uh, let's Listen. let's get a reflex as you as you oh, spin. I'm only two feet tall. How much do I have? To look? I'm, I'm like just off the a, ground. You leave us with the sphinx. This is what happens. Uh, <laughs> you get clocked with a cauldron and hit in the head with your own sword. This is, this is your life now. God sure. damn it. Sure, you, you both manage to dodge out of the way as the cauldron swings wide. Can I limbo it? Like, <laughs> I don't care what you do with it. <laughs> this warring dervish of life mistakes in front of us is Palaka Batak, and I'm the bossy scarabide. At your wonderful service, I'm sure. I'm sorry, can you repeat your name? I He almost... Another one of you almost killed me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one that's almost killed you is Palaka Bitak. I don't Pil- know. It's hard to say. Pilaka? Yeah, call him Pilaf. It'll make her feel really good. It is a title of a language neither of you speak for certain. So, But Pilaka, you may call me Palaka. Pilaka Bakak? Like a bird? Uh, Bakak? Mm, no. Bit, bitak? Yeah, bit, sure. Bitak. Bitak. And you are a uh, brown dwarf, you are a boosy. <laughs> I feel like I made that same joke. I oh, a it's even better when he says it. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> a boosy turns up and goes, Don't quote, how many times have I. Mm. <laughs> no. It's a bossy scarabide if you. It up again, I swear to God, I'll put you back in the box. I mean, you already swung at me once, it wouldn't be any different. <laughs> oh, it's fine, I could just put you in the box, we'll lock it back up, leave you, the next group will come by two or three days, I'm sure you'll be fine. You know, we should take turns, you know, you get in the box, I go, let's just go, I want Tuka, that's, that would, I'm, I'm, I'm just really tired, I've been in a box for two days. To the hookah, and I swing back around, endangering everybody again, and and start putting off towards town. Reflexes. God <laughs> damn it! This is my. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> At least we're both really agile. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> like on brand at this point. Oh, I didn't mean to. How did I do that? I just did. I hit C. May have. No. There's a space bar. Perfect. Okay, I'm just, that for future reference. <laughs> okay. No worries, Goblin, you're safe with us. You spin around, you say that. The others dodge out of the way at this point, And you continue in the path of Wati. Camera pans back. Likely to the mildly upset and sweating Doncor and Neferani. Oh... Well. That was interesting. We just saw Zanjavar walk away, with, well, really fly away with, I actually don't even know, with uh, with the Sphinx. How are you holding up, Deferani? I hope he comes back. <laughs> we First we lost the Fire Lady, and now we lost, I don't know, Firebeard McPants Prince. I don't know, where's... I feel like we... No more redheads. F- fire... Wow, Prince Mick. What? I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> I can't. My heart can't take it. I love them too much. 
I like that I, response. I think I think everything will be fine. Well, Jamara, at the very least, we might be able to find again. I'm hoping he doesn't die because he might be useful later on, but we should probably start making our way back. I'm sure Abasi and Palaka probably think we're dead. He's gonna die. He's gonna touch her big sphinx boobs and she's gonna kill him. <laughs> It's, I, I don't know we'll ever see him again. Wait, what do you can, do with your breasts? I can, I can honestly see Me? that actually. Bra. They're right. <laughs> no, no. I thought I heard somebody say did something with their boobs. I love it. That's what you it's, got. No, I, it's literally what you said. <laughs> the six boobs. You I said, said you right, What I said in character was that I'm afraid that your character is going to die and that the space is going to kill you because you're going to grab her boobs. Okay. Die. I thought you said something about grabbing someone with their boobs. So I was, never mind. Uh, <laughs> you're basically riding the Sphinx like this, and she's gonna kill you. She's gonna kill you. She's gonna kill you. Going out and splash you like that lady on Howard Stern with the beer cans. Oh, yeah. oh, oh man, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, right here. So okay, so I'm, I, I'm sad. I'll get over it. He'll maybe he'll come back. Maybe I don't know. I mean, to be completely fair, I think that's how you'd want to go, being killed while handling breasts. However... Maybe you. Let's go back to the... the to Where are we supposed to meet people? I didn't think um, that far ahead. We're supposed to go back to town and to the tooth and hookah that I kind of... I think I bought it for a month. But, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's go back and get a good night's sleep and then hopefully we'll find... Wait. They left us! I did say this. <laughs> Maybe you did, but I didn't, it did not dawn on me until this exact moment. They left, Doug, or they left us they, they to did. die! They, I they thought they ran. were our friends! I will they know. They had a, an actual, like, cloud. Like, Polanka <laughs> went on a cloud and started doing what she does. But it, the burb. <laughs> no, you feel betrayed. I do. Well, to be fair, they also did tell us to run. That is true. I don't think it was a good idea, though. Well, I mean, fucking working out of, for us. We'll it's only find out if they show up at the truth, tooth and hookah, and they're not dead. Well, maybe, I mean, the the Sphinx knew our names. Live. But you're right. We should find out if they're still at the tooth and hookah. They could be dead and or alive that, are those yeah. the only two options <laughs> those are the two states of being <laughs> like, <laughs> either dead or you're alive <laughs> i'm not feeling a lot of comfort here Doncor. i've had a hard long day <laughs> i i don't know how to comfort people other than saying that they might be alive and they might still think we're also here, alive let me teach you come here give me a hug bring it in come here <laughs> no, we're like it starts and, like, and oh, okay and just pat says, gently and tell me everything's gonna be okay um, and i'm gonna pat until he he picks it up ev everything's going to be fine, I guess. Oh, good <laughs> ad living. Good ad living. I liked it. Okay, see, I feel better. Let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess we're gonna start. Which way do we go again? Which way did they run? <laughs> it's not. It's not gonna be difficult for you guys to find their their footfall uh, in the sand. Specifically, Abbasis. He leaves quite uh, a heavy <clears throat> trench where he, where he runs. <laughs> Actually, I, I think I see it. It's over there. It's You see that that very deep indent in the sand? I, I think that was a bossy. He was, he's quite a, a heavy dwarf. Well, I, I can do it. Can <clears throat> I cast no direction? Just because she wants to do something. You totally can. Very good. <clears throat> it's that way. I mean, it's north, but I know like from north and I extrapolated that. So you went from no direction to one direction? <laughs> hey, Ryu, that's what makes you beautiful. So, God damn it! <laughs> oh, oh. I got nothing. I have nothing. To uh, just in the desert with a horde of high school girls following behind her. <laughs> no, uh oh, that's what. That was, sorry. And... <laughs> oh, that's great. 
Did you hear him? <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> what are you doing? Mom, what are you doing? I'm, <laughs> I'm singing terribly and off key. He goes. <laughs> Thought him well. He's playing magic with Nerbal. I, this is I'm, I'm living for all of this right now. <laughs> I, I, all right, so let's go that way then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's let's go. Agreed. Abasi, Ronan, and <clears throat> Palaka, you will arrive at the Tooth and Hookah. Very few patrons in the establishment. You'll notice that um, Farhan is is quite tired himself. He's trying to put the day past to see him. that we're alive. In fact, he is. He is. But everyone had prepaid for the week, a week's length of time inside of uh, the Tooth and Hookah. So, when you walk in, do you immediately move upstairs? Do you speak to Farhan? What What do you have in mind? I want to. Uh, where Where is Farhan? Behind the bar? Yes. Yes. Okay, uh, I would like to. I would like to walk up and uh, and slap a gold coin on the uh, on the counter and say, "Oh God, I'm not disguised. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I was assume gonna that say, I'm disguised." I don't think he's ever seen you as a bird before. I'm so <laughs> excited to see how that goes down. <laughs> I've got. I'm sorry. I should probably by the time I get into town, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it back up the old woman disguise anyway because Polak has okay. been trying to go low key. Um, we kind of skipped that part, so okay. <laughs> but I am gonna slap a gold coin down, and uh, and say, eh, Farhan, it was yes, yes. We have returned. We seek uh, provisions and a bath. We are very dusty. I will draw the water. I'll have it delivered upstairs. It is good to see each of you return. Hmm, Bendy. Good to see you still here. I saw always... Why the long face? It has been a long day. We've heard from the temple that many of the people that went inside, much like yourselves, they have perished. Hmm. They are no more. Ah, this was because they are incompetent, so you should not be sad. <laughs> <laughs> a bossy like oh leaves and he goes, no, no, I, I, the Malaka, the snow is. No, the society is, is uh, on no, average gotten no. more skilled. But did she go down? What if he moved some it, of them and he's trying to pull the bird Why do you back? Keep calling me bird. <laughs> it is fine. No, there, there is true. We've seen that. The more that you know, it, going inside of the tombs, inside of the walls, the safer you can be but we do not know everything that is inside. Uh, that wasn't so bad inside. There was just forgotten pharaoh gods and uh, none of our group was killed until we left and met a sphinx. We don't know they're dead. We don't, it, it hasn't happened yet. As you oh, say that- Oh, one of them is certainly dead. He peers Arnie, back over to Abasi. Farani is still Schrodinger's cat as far as I'm concerned who still has blood drenching most of the front part of his headdress, who still is not quite without some change to one of his eyes at the very least. <laughs> and my armor's falling off. <laughs> yes. Ah, yes. Everything must have been smooth as the desert winds for you as well. Mm, yes, it was quite comfortable. Nice and cool. Out of the sun. Uh, yeah, you hid in the corner as a statue, as I recall. Hmm, yes. Why did you not do the same? Those men were trying to kill us. Well, no, watch. When I try and use me magic, it's just... Ah, hmm, Nothing. we can discuss that. <laughs> Faron uh, tries to say time. something, almost interrupting you both, when he pans around, um, immediately throwing down his rag and reaching below the bar, grabbing what looks to be some sort of a club. <laughs> and he's just peering down at the goblin that is with you. Real quick, Desert what Sons. Is, what? What? Hold on. What is the? What is? Because I wasn't here for the innkeeper. What is the innkeeper? It's the innkeeper, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, I'm freaking out about. Uh, <laughs> what does he look like? Real, real fast. Not to interrupt the role play, but sure, I have no idea second. what this guy looks like. I think, um, 
I think one of the ladies locked the cat in the closet two hours ago. Give me a second. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> this episode's a bundle. A bundle of yeah. Two hours ago, just as the little added note. Aw. <laughs> the cat oh, was in there. He's like, yeah. Wait, is that like the cop? He's like me. That is like, that is just a closet right there. <clears throat> Aw. Were you like wondering what that scratching was the entire broadcast or something? Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor like, buddy. It's, it's just the goblin. Aww. This is crit. She's Hi. a little shithead. I feel like I'm now competing with a cuter cat. <laughs> All right, let's go. Put you outside. Still the cutest animal on four legs in his house, at least. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will not stop making shit. <laughs> what about your gremlin? Not a gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have to go do the the thing for him, so I'll be back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you asked, what does what does Farhan look like? Yeah. Just before we get into the role play and sure. and stuff. Farhan is a Garundi man. He is um, a man of the sands at this point, much like most other people, where their son is or their son their their skin is a bit more sun kissed. Um, you'll see that a lot of their features are predominantly dark, mm. though they have bits of, like, uh, stripes of blonde through them based off of dyes. You don't really see a lot of really rich colors like uh, oranges or reds. If they seem to have colors outside of that, they're likely of a completely wild race, or that they have intentionally dyed their their hair with, with berries or flower. Um, but he seems like an, an old adventurer. Um, like, days since long past. He's Upper 40s, early 50s, but he's... He's weathered. Okay. He draws his club! And he asks, what is that? With some fear in uh, in mind. He's clutching this club that's been decorated with various <clears throat> symbols that he's carved into it. Oh, the, please! The green no. cat. I turn no. around, too. I look, I look around and... No need for alarm. He did not accompany me last time I was here, but this is my manservant. That is no man. He is a... No, of course not. He is a pomet dwarf. He fell in acid. <laughs> that is no pomet dwarf. <laughs> Look at him. That <laughs> is a pomet oh, dwarf. Do not, do not mock my manservant for his physical deformity. Give me I'm a bluff. Not... <laughs> on, my dog is... Do you just compare my people to barbecue? <laughs> Only if they're dipped in acid. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. Let's see. Only if they're dipped in acid. <laughs> I'm going. Does anybody want a giant German Shepherd here? I'll auction them off. Come here. Kind of. You want? Oof. Does anybody want this? Oh, he's so cute. I would love two jet black dogs. Yes. Does he have super high energy? Uh, yes and no. Like, German Shepherds are, like, chill. They have two speeds. Chill or, like, run in circles. Yeah, alert mode, yeah. I grew up with one. Get up there on your couch. Go. He squints so his eyes for a moment, peering to you, Palaka, then leaning back over the counter, still clutching onto the club. In almost a hushed, uh, like a hushed yell, looks to you, Goblin. Are you really a palmet that has fallen into acid? <laughs> um, I, I just kind of look at the bird and I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. You guys have hookah here? <laughs> Give me a bluff. Oh, God, my bluff is not mine. <laughs> I have a negative three on bluff. <laughs> <laughs> this I is knew great. It. Oh, it's still a 11. Oh my god. Oh, why? <laughs> Even better. Why? <laughs> wow! He's this distracted by all the deaths. I'm so sorry. That is truly unfortunate. Not for me. I get to pay him very little because he's so ugly. Wait, I get paid? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Well, I took them all out for ice cream. When the yeah. fuck did we get ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> your, your next wage of one silver is due next month. Yeah, sounds good. Um, good times. 
<laughs> you have my apologies. Oh, he's, mean, he's all cheery and full of spirit. There's no need. I yeah, just walk no it hostility. off. No big deal. He you pulls for what? you what, what uh, looks to be some kind of, um, uh, like a crude <laughs> mug. Um, and from it, you smell this very rich, almost aromatic liqueur of sorts. And he hands it down to you. I did not mean to offend. This is for you, noble Pamit. For free? For, for, like free? <laughs> for my apologies, yes. Just drink it. Do you have any cheese in the back, too? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I love, I really like cheese. And, <laughs> you know, it's after all the acid and stuff, I, you know, I'm not asking for much. <clears throat> like, some cheese with my wine? I, I think we can make something of this happen. Yes. Palaka taps down another silver piece on the counter for him. <laughs> Thank you. We will bring forth a small block for you. I just like jump on. Is there a stool I can like hop on? There is. Yes, it's like, a, super excited. A box like, of sorts that have been lean, that's been placed. Lean my giant. Uh, the boss uh, is just shaking. Says, you should just send everything up to the. You know, we still own the top room, right? Yes, for three more days. Yes. How long were we gone? You have been gone almost four to five days time. Wait, I thought we bought it up for a month. We bought it up for a week, I thought. Yeah, was it a month? It might, have been, it it a might have been a week. It was like... I, I it think was it was expensive when I was watching. I yeah, know we was, had to give up like all our gold. Yeah, it was like a like hundred and some odd gold or something. something oh, was like it? Like then that. it probably... Mm, oh. I'll have, to take, I'll have to take a look at it. I can't remember if it was a week <laughs> We'll have to go back and check the VODs. Either, either way, you still have time. I don't remember okay. either. I'll check VODs later, but either way, we know we have the room. It's yes. not going to be relevant today. We're not going to burn through three days' time. Correct. Yeah, because I, I know I I'm hope. like, I'm... I'm <laughs> sure. Sleep, wake up, sleep, wake up, sleep, wake up. Sleep. <laughs> do you want to go... How long do you want to rest for? 28 <laughs> hours. <laughs> but where, man. where are the others? Oh, um, Sphinx food. Well, no, we don't know that. So we came out at what you locals call the River Sphinx, and the Sphinx was there. So being forward thinking and not dead people, we opted to leave, and they opted to sit down. There was a tunnel that led to the River Sphinx? No. Is now. <clears throat> you must keep this quiet. Do not tell anyone. They will oh, begin sneaking in from this point. Wait, there was a what? I'm not done. It's a white it man's servant. servant. And I don't smack worry. him upside the head. <laughs> Wait, on the head? Like on the top of the head? Or on the like, side of the like head? On the, on the back side of the head. Okay. Fair enough. His glass eye pops out. What <laughs> the fuck? Pull on Put perception. For on everybody? for everyone? Just Palaka. Okay. After a, a swift, like, smacking to the back of, of the goblin's head, you, um, you notice something. Uh, it was just faint. But his head turns to you, and you can see his really teeth. Sticky. The, the lips sort of roll back, revealing all of his teeth, and his muscles seem to almost, like, almost gird up. His, like, traps swell out, almost decreasing the existence of his neck, and he just looks like of this very small, muscle-bound monstrosity. But in that moment, when you say quiet, he realizes the ruse... And he notes immediately, and you can see the muscles kind of taper back down. So I just noticed that he's swole as fuck. He gets, yes, he does. He essentially just flexes, and it shows an unfortunate series of muscles. Not something that you had ever seen on any other goblin up to this point. This is how he passes a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> I will have everything taken up to, you, to your room. Is there anything else that you might request? So the cheese is coming too? There will be some cheese coming, yes. Okay. And the bath water. Don't forget the bath water. We are filthy. We will have it run. Not a problem. It's the third room on the left, or? I will take you here. And a boss, he puts a gold on the table. He's like, could you send up, you know, more, just extra refreshments and snacks? I'm still holding out that Don Cora and Efrani walk in. Actually, Maybe already... carrying Zanjafar. I already gave him a gold piece for provisions. Oh, I know. And I was just throwing him extra for them as well. Oh, sure. okay. Oh, right, right. He'll take yeah, that. Yeah, because 
There mm-hmm. will be a, a, a plentiful amount. You will not have anything to worry about. Plus, Abasi's kind of flush after. <laughs> I hop, I hop down, I hop down off my stool, and then I just like pitter patter up the stairs with my sword. He moves up there without anyone guiding him. There are multiple doors up there, multiple rooms. You don't know if they're all inhabited or not. I just wait at the top of the, the first set of stairs. Like I don't go exploring, but sure. Like, I, like I'm just like a kid, and like wait, like the opposite of Santa when you come down the stairs. Excited to go up the stairs. Gotcha. Okay. I go. I go up after him, but uh, before Abasi, so he has to wait for me to do the little old lady, like one step at a time, like both feet. Mm-hmm. Like, duh, 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 duh. Okay. And so I'm just making my way. Gotcha. Sounds good. You. Uh, it, it takes you some time, but you'll make your way to the top of the steps. Abasi, I'm assuming that you're right behind. Yes, I will be following them up. I don't want to hang out in the public area much longer. I want to find a place to sit down, eat some actual real food, and I'll be a part of getting the shit kicked out of me daily. Okay. Uh, it will take a few moments, but uh, there will be a series of steps outside of your primary room before you will find that there is a rapping again at the door. This time, it is Farhan, and with him, there is a servant, someone that seems to be walking with him. Uh, they're carrying a series of trays, one of which has several gourds with, uh, with wine. Not the best wine. You didn't tip that well, but... It will be enough to assist in the licking of wounds. Um, he will have also brought up various bits of cheeses, some dried meats, um, probably some local desert fruit. Um, and you will also find that there is a copious amount of onion. Um, <laughs> a third tray is presented. This time, the only thing that seems to be adorned on this is glass fixtures. He does explain that it is uh, to be built and that there are various salves or um, uh, bricks for hookah. Excellent. Uh, on the provisions, do I see anything that could be of use alchemically, um, or maybe like uh, like garlic? Um, I know you said onion, but like cloves of garlic might be useful for certain kinds of monsters. I don't Ooh, know. If that I still have cloves of garlic. Actually, you're not going to find anything that looks. That's right. The outside of a, a natural reagent, you're going to find mostly it's food. It was designed as food, so if you wish to treat it additionally, so in some random way. Then it may become a reagent at some point, but likely by doing this, you will also be draining some of your your food resources. Do I have to pay sure. any extra for meats? Uh, you when when you bought the room upstairs or for X amount of time, you were given yeah. X amount of provisions to go along with that. Yeah. It was part of your original agreement, so okay. you probably just brought up some and the additional coin that you had left behind, which looked like two silver, two gold. You would see an additional. Uh, gourd of wine probably would see the 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 borrowed hookah that sort of thing okay i'm just making sure because he's gonna be hungry he's tired first thing he's gonna do is walk into his version of our room and cut off what's left of his armor and try and shake the sand out yeah we'll leave you three up there to do that we're gonna pass by with misty and with ko is there anything that you would like to say before you make it back into Wati to the Tooth and Hookah? Uh, Nefrani, before we make it back, the one thing that would tell no one that we revived a god, and I and I he says that whispering. Oh. What do you mean, Akintepi? I mean, what do you mean, Akintepi? Exactly. That's probably not a good idea. But why not? I mean, I don't think it's pretty cool. Like, don't you think people would be like, oh, hey, but they, oh, we should not mess with them. Yeah, but what if there was a reason the body was hidden where it was and the wrong people take notice and then we're targets instead? But what if, throwing it back, the people who sent us ask us the question directly, do we lie to them? If they ask us, did we revive a god, then there's probably something else happening there. Because that should have been no way they knew that that would have been but us. But what do I say if someone asks me if I'm a god? Well, if you're a god, then by all means, say yes. But if we revived a god, then no. Okay. 
Okay. I think I've got it. I think, at least for now, until we talk to everyone. Right. Just, I think that's just a safe bit of info, but I, I, let's go back. I'm sure the others, are, the others are there by now. Time will pass. Granted, if there's anything else, small talk that you might, might make, you can. If there's any preparations that the three of you would like to make before they arrive, so be it. As long as it's not anything too outwardly crazy. They're probably high. <laughs> you have arrived. Clean and eating and fucking hitting the hookah, and drinking the wine. Okay. Palaka is like mostly submerged in the bath sure. with like just her her beak nose holes poking out, and uh, there's like a cloud of just like murky, like uh, like just gross muddy water that represents where Gidok is under the water somewhere. Yep. He's oh. just filthy. Every now and then you'll see Gidok's head like burble above the water and then right back down. Thirty to forty-five minutes pass. And the two of you will arrive in Wati to the Tooth and Hookah. Upon your arrival, you're greeted with a nod by Farhan. It is good to see that both of you have made it as well. The, as well? The Pamet has said that he expected you two to arrive. Oh, that's good. I'm glad he thought we were still alive. I'm sure he would have thought we died. Well, he had extra provisions sent to your room, just in case of your arrival. Oh, well, that's definitely good. Thank you, Farhan. How's Please, everything? You go, go. I'm sorry. I'm very excited that my friends are, are hopefully not dead. <laughs> They're not dead, but hey. I still am sorry. I did not know where you had met him, but I may have gravely offended someone in the party. <laughs> <laughs> someone in the party? What, what do you mean? What do they look like? The woman, the older woman, say that it was a pamet that was horrifically burned by acid. Did a bossy get burned by acid? No, I am afraid that is not the case. He was fine. Oh, oh! That there was a third person that... His skin was... Not like your skin or mine. That it was scarred and that's... green. Okay, well, that's... He yeah, was very small, I... and he said that due to acid, that is why the skin was so dark and he was so small. Shriveled become... like an ant of sorts. A pet? It, 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 did, it did speak. It, it had a voice. Okay. Um, he but did not say his not name. A pet? He did not say his name, but he did confirm that he was a permit. But he said oh. that he was in the employ of the older woman. Uh... Admittedly, the wages must be harsh where he lives because he only will accept one silver per month. Wait, wait, hold uh, on, but who, hold on. So this person is here? Yes, he is. He is under the employ of the woman. Uh, she goes by Pelaka. Oh, oh, so you are talking about, um, okay. Uh, Doc, and Dagor looks at Neferani and is like, I have no idea what he's talking about. But I think he's trying to say that Abasi is ugly. <laughs> you know, like, That's not what I'm saying. This, no, there, yeah. there is exactly one additional person. Abasi is not, like, is not the best looking man for, for certain, but where he where he lacks the, the general natural looks of the traditional palmet, he makes up for with charisma, I believe. <laughs> Right, I listen. I'm a little bit confused as to why there's a third person now with them when there, I thought there was two. But what I will say is, Farhan, I hope that you've been well. I missed what? you. <laughs> I oh, as, going... as I was trying to explain to the others, they asked the same thing if if I was fine. But forgive me if my disposition is less than sunny. There have been a, a reported number of deaths from within sight of the walls. I'm afraid that many of the adventuring parties did not make it back. Oh. Well, we almost didn't either. But we did! Yeah. With and we met... a Sphinx? Yeah, we definitely did. We had a conversation with a Sphinx. Who? How many people can go and say that? But I'm oddly tired now. I'm going to go to our room and probably take whatever provisions you brought in and then figure out what's going on this this there's a lot already and we just made it back there is a still of water so that you may bathe 
mini cask of wine. And there are also meat and cheeses upstairs. <gasps> the meat person said that cheese? cheese was very important, so I made sure to cut off a few hucks for him specifically. <clears throat> okay, well then, uh, thank you, Farhan. Um, I'll speak to you in the morning, I'm sure. Uh, there's, uh, there's some things that we have to talk about as far as room engagements, but because we might be here for a little longer. Uh, but we'll, we'll speak more about that in the morning. I'm, yeah, I'm going up to the room now. Rest easy. Nefroni, are you staying here? Or are you no, I'm joined? coming too! I'm, a, I'm gonna have some cheese and wine and a nap. She's a lot more excited than I am. It does sound yes, nice. I am! <laughs> I will be retiring soon, so if you need anything else, you must wait until morning. No, that's that's perfectly fine. I'm sure what you brought is more than enough. Thank you. Very good. Uh, Doc Orr will make his way up the stairs very uh, uh, very slowly and cautiously, but not as slow as Neferani with the stone. <laughs> Curious, what would they hear from the room? Obviously, they're not going to hear much from Pilaka or Gadok, but would we hear anything from Abasi or Ronan? This depends on Ronan. <laughs> I would be smoking the hookah. Like kind of like dancing around while eating cheese, and 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 kind of like humming. I picture like a baby dancing on leg, bounce like <laughs> bobbing back like and forth. Cheese and smoking hookah, getting high, <laughs> dipping wine. <laughs> I'm, wine doesn't get I'm, you high. Well, it's nicotine, right? You can get high off nicotine. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. It's not like it's not like stoned, but you know, you get like that buzz. I don't. Yeah, especially if you're not used to it, sure, sure. They definitely burn various things. It's not just flat nicotine. You're probably going to see some things that will alter the effect. Oh, that's right. Um, <laughs> I'm the boss. He's like, you're enjoying that oregano. You're hey. really hitting it oh. pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just like burning in the desert in a box. Can a, can a goblin just have relax? And I, you know, you, I... I what can I say? Is it philosophical that you went to a different box and burned other things? Or is this just what you do? You can hear well, it. Well, so well, pungent in that. You can, you can hear at this point that there there are words. Uh, higher pitch figure speaking to the very obvious Pomad that you've traveled with up to this point. Uh, yeah, they're, they're a little bit loud, Daphroni. And I don't... There's a voice I don't recognize, and it's not... It's not Palaka, I'm sure. It's, um... Just as daunting, however. I don't know. Abasi has cut his clothes off, by the way. He is wearing nothing from the waist up and just his tattered pants from the waist down, enjoying wine and so happy Abasi, to not be dying. Abasi is Junior Hulk. Is that what I'm yes. hearing? <laughs> he's just, he's like, like everything's Hulk. fucked. I got, I got, buy and everything burns. Hulk, relax. We need new clothes. <laughs> Right, Hulk, relax. No, Ronan is Junior Hulk. <laughs> he said my G immediately after Sam got back from the events of Lord of the Rings, and he was like, no, I'm d don't ring my doorbell. Don't knock on my door. I'm in the hole. Don't go in the hole. <laughs> is I'm always cranky. Okay, so we're coming down the hall. There, there is somebody else. I wonder yeah. if we've made a new friend. Oh, uh, I hope not. I'm going to, at, at that, just kind of go past him and, like, bust open the door and be like, hey! Holy, holy shit! The door swings wide. Neferani is there. Before you, Ryu, is a catfolk. Can, can I see them enter, or am I in another room in the bath? I, you tell me. <laughs> you tell me you, where, you, where you've poured it. Uh, I guess we kind of had that up. Do we, we have that map of the of the upstairs? It was kind of like an open air. Yeah, yeah like, there are room. four rooms, and then there's the main open area with the sitting area in the middle. Okay, I guess it would depend on where he would draw the bath. So if he's able to get it into my private quarters, that's fine. If not, I'm totally just bathing nude in front of everybody. <laughs> in the middle of the room. Well, I mean, you're Hell definitely yeah. like Palaka. Definitely I mean, like draped in feathers. So it's, I'm things. I'm oh, she's, the, I'm she's um, drunk. So. Consider the, yourself. The, the I haven't gotten up, naked. The so. map is up right now. It's in the bottom right-hand corner of yep, the screen. It is. You just gotta zoom oh. in on it. Uh, Consider yourself lucky. I haven't. Gotcha. I haven't gotten naked before this. So Misty, up to this point, you burst in, and you can see what looks to be a beak floating above a pool of water. A bossy relaxing, probably casually dining on on meats and cheeses, likely drinking from a flask of sorts. And this is where you will be introduced to the figure, of which you know no name, but a goblin. 
You've likely never seen a goblin before. You've likely never even heard of one. But here a very small figure, no more than three feet tall, seems to be shoveling cheese into his mouth while purple plumes emit from the same maw. Efrani, you survived! Look what happened to Giddock! <laughs> I'm just going to look around. And I'm going to see... Um, the. I'm going to see uh, uh... the goblin before I see... The bird turned into a little... You're green, right? Yeah. It did... What happened to the bird? And I'm not so sure that's the bird. I... But that's what a, a bossy... Is that the bird? Where's no, my herb? Uh, it's clearly Giddock. It's a market Herb. improvement, if you ask me. Ronan, I'm what do you do in this situation? Know? I'm just eating my cheese like that gif of popcorn. Like, <laughs> but, but I'm <laughs> Are you more this. like dude on the couch or are you like the guy at the wrestling match? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm just super entertained because like, I'm used to just people dying and thrown in a cage. <laughs> and that's it. Like, I don't, this is new. This is like discovering... Uh, anime for the first time. I'm just accidentally <laughs> walking into the blue man group. <laughs> this, is, right. this is like in Dumb and Dumber when they come into all the money. Yeah. When they, when they realize the suitcase is full of money. Yep. And they're, they're just like every, no, no expenditures there. There's no uh, response, which is very on, you know, pretty much on the money for, for Giddock. Giddock would likely not know how to speak common at this point. So it's just heaps of cheese just being shoved in and bits of plumes of purple smoke from a hookah is also following that. However, it is wearing armor. So you mean to tell me that you got to, that's Giddock and then he's also wearing armor. The boss is like halfway through a sip and he goes, well, I could be saying that. I don't know if it's true, but God, the look on your face is too just right. So <laughs> all I heard was you could be saying that. So I'm going to bound forward and give um, the goblin an enormous hug. Um, get off! Oh, no, we we don't know where that's been. I, Am I pretending <laughs> again to be someone else? Or... <laughs> I, I'm steeping in the water in like a corner, and I'll just like maybe not even noticeable oh, and not bothering to correct anybody. <laughs> I, like, I like how it's a palaka tea bag. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. That's gonna be some tasty water when. Uh, 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 that water that's what you would think. Get off anymore. Ah uh, yes, Palaka with a hint of nard. Well done. Oh. <laughs> and, 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 and you know the the Gidok. Gidok seemingly Even says, better. "Am I supposed to be pretending?" As you've so heard, you're you're right. clutching under the arms. You're being hugged. Do you pick him up by chance? Um, I don't know that I would pick him up, but I definitely um. I mean, I guess that depends on how how light. So he's two foot what? Two foot ten. I weigh thirty four pounds. Oh yeah, I'm definitely picking you up. Like <laughs> thirty four pounds. More just like a hug that like when I scoop you, like I I my natural like height like kind of pulls you up because. Listen, lady. Somebody who is a foot and a half shorter than a bossy. That is mind blowing. <laughs> Listen, lady. Unless you have more cheese, you. You better put the bo the goblin down. Go go goblin? What? Wait, so was I supposed to say dwarf or? I don't know. It's been a charade since I've been in this place. Uh, oh, no, these are more minions of mine. I did not expect them to survive. I told you they were okay. I was very, I told uh, to them, smart. Zanjifar, really dumb. He sat down. That's why he's not <laughs> here, right? They ate him, yeah? No, they, they didn't eat Very him. much so alive, but... Minions. <laughs> minion? Who said minion? I said companion. <laughs> nice try, bird. You're adorable. Is this Giddock? <laughs> when you look over, you see Giddock actually burble above the water and then go back down, sort of like a subnautical creature. <laughs> when Giddock does that, I'm going to drop the goblin like a. <laughs> that is as he said. It is a goblin. What uh, what is a goblin? Uh, Neferani, don't call this is a what'd you say name? Oh, Ronin? Ronin the goblin. I, we don't know. We found them in a chest on the side of the road. They are was <laughs> it a present? So you found a a goblin in a chest on the side of the road and you brought it here. Yo, uh, I'm a person just like you. Listen, I understand this, but we'll speak to you in a minute. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's, it's just like, I'm listen, the adults are talking! I'm gonna whisper down to the goblin, 
Donkor is getting a little testy. Just watch. You all... We you thought all, you were uh, dead, and the bird wanted to replenish our stock of people that hit things with sticks. Replenish your stock of people <laughs> that hit things with sticks? What are we, commodities now? Well, Zanjafar <laughs> was, but you didn't bring him back, so I figured this all works out. So, we were fighting a sphinx, and I'm just, I'm assigning to the goblin to get... <laughs> they left us. We were, we almost died. We had to answer some riddles. I got them wrong. And Zanjafar saved me because I apparently am very bad at riddles. We told them to run. Everybody knows that sphinxes ask questions. And Why would you idiots? run from a giant person shaped like a cat who's like, I'm gonna eat you now. No, no, I'm, I'm feeling good about the leaving thing. You know, Don Cor, I'm really surprised you stayed. I'm, I'm, to be, to be honest, I'm a little bit surprised I stayed too. But listen, there's one thing. We'll talk about that in a minute. The Sphinx knew your names. Mm. We are very popular. Uh, we're in we're in the common room, right? Like the middle room up on the second floor. Pilaka has yes. no name. Uh, it's okay. behind closed doors, but yeah. Oh yes. Okay. Pilaka has no name. Pilaka has no name. A bird has no name. <laughs> A bird has no name. Oh my god. But the Sphinx knew it. Bilar Magulis. You, you know, I. <laughs> the iris. There's a lot happening now. <laughs> what? Where the. What, why were you in a chest? Oh, you're talking to me now. Are you. Are the adults done talking? I was trying to give you information. I. There's a lot happening. We. They left us to die. No, and it's fine. There's another one here, and I don't even know who you are. So, I'm sorry. Well, no, I covered that. It's surrounded. It's okay. They tried. It's they so both funny. tried to kill me twice. You know, steal oh, my sword. It's all. I have. That sounds legit. <laughs> we got. <laughs> we got an excellent price for him. He was free. Wait, wait a minute. So they tried to kill you, and you still followed them. They said they had hookah, and then the guy downstairs. He gave me cheese. I oh, see. He's basically Zanjafar. He'll do anything if you give him a, a hook and some cheese. Oh, he God. said it was a lot more complicated than that. <laughs> oh yeah, let me do a rendition. Zanjafar, I have your flask. Go long into the pit of snakes. <laughs> okay, that's that fair. is true. He was an alcoholic. That. <laughs> no, we never. I thought I was gonna go home. out. I thought I was gonna go out. And you guys were like, oh, that guy, man. <laughs> no, Zanjafar just... saved my life. I don't want to hear anything that bad said about him. <laughs> I'm basically Beethoven of the group. Like, instead of throwing random objects to fetch, it's a flask. <laughs> so, I... You said your name was... They said they said your name was Ronan? My is name's... That... Yeah, Roman. Uh, <laughs> I was in the box because this guy named Dickhead put me there. Um... I wasn't from the place of the sands. Uh, we are told his yeah. master Dickhead was uh, a slaver of uh, of fighting a variety. <laughs> he's a he's a combat warrior. So he a was, gladiator. So he's a goblin, whatever whatever the hell a goblin is, and he's a pit fighter that's shorter than a posse. You tried to kill him and you brought him back here. Is this what I'm? gathering right now. Well, not to be fair, I tried to bash him in the head with his own sword, but it didn't connect. He just wasn't there all of a sudden. Nah, that puts him above most of the people I bash with swords lately. If we were trying to kill him, he wouldn't be here eating cheese. He would I mean, be dead. You just said you tried to hit him with his own sword. Oh, yeah, the soft bit. <laughs> the so it's so a sword. So I'm going to get down on my knees next to uh, Ronan like he's a child. And I'm. Are you okay? Oh you yeah, you know. More cheese. I would love more cheese. I'm gonna, get, <laughs> I'm gonna get cheese from the board and kind of like hold it for him, like oh. I'm. Oh, I'm just like, sitting there, like, hey, Don we have more drinks, you know. I got plenty for you. You know what? That's probably a really good idea. That is way too much to take in right now. We almost died. You ran away. I right, just give But it. we have a new uh, friend. A he's so he's like a pocket friend. Look how cute he is. A bossy pops a leg up, up on the fucking seat. I can't. 
my brain I probably went south fit him on in my brain. brain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry. He's my new pocket I friend, and I don't want friend. you to mess this up. We're gonna keep it. <laughs> if Him. anyone, listen, oh, sweetheart, you yes. can keep me as long as you have cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and I have cheese. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what? Ronnie, never Ronnie, for some reason is oddly happy. Just give me the drink, please. <laughs> Abasi answers with the drink. Goes, oh, she's happy. You should, <laughs> you I should like... see Jamara. I'm sure she's pleased as hell, whatever she is. I like to think that we see Doncor grab the gourd <laughs> and a small mug and pour into the mug, place the mug back, and walk away with the gourd. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he just went from like there's these oddities that happened while we were in the tomb. Now this just got even weirder. <laughs> well, this isn't trying to actively kill me, and it's it's kind of like I thought it was Gidok, so I automatic I automatically assigned cute, <laughs> regardless of what it looks like. What he looks like. <laughs> This is probably the first vision that Ronan will have. As you're speaking of Gidok in this moment, there is what looks to be three or four claws like dart out from the tub and pull its body out as it like lettuce slings and slunks over to the wooden floor <laughs> and just kind of scuttles across, not actually using its body upright, but just using its back legs to push its face against the floor, <laughs> reaching up into the plate, grabbing the cheese, bringing it back down, stuffing it into its mouth. Then back up again, grabbing more cheese, going back to the tub the same way that it got there. One arm up, right back in. Into oh, the water. wet cheese! <laughs> Did that? Wet, Hold dirty, bird cheese. That's my cheese. You it is to be fair. You're both Gidok. It's your cheese together. He is not Gidok. He is Goblin. Goblin. It is everyone's cheese. We pay for everyone to eat cheese. Bossy takes a swig and goes, they're not both goblins? You, you know, <laughs> I can I can honestly see why you tried to make us believe that this was Gidok at first. They do have some similarities, I will. They're both adorable. I will it looks see. like a leather bag that you've set on fire. No, it's not adorable. Oh, oh that, that does remind me. Uh, if anybody does his axe, yeah, he is a palmet dwarf who is hideously scarred. Oh, yeah, I asked. Have... Ronan, you are far from you're far from dumb. In fact, <laughs> well... you are leaps and bounds from your experiences in life that led you to, to be a bit more tenured in in some kind of department of education. You are definitely understanding that they keep describing you as a hideously disfigured slash scarred pomet. <clears throat> You're some really ugly or dumb creature. You just came out of the box, sure. They've given you the pleasantries of a cooled room, some cheese and whatnot, but how long will you keep taking these these <laughs> remarks? Do you just kind of let it roll off your back? Um, I feel like I'm, I'm pretty weathered, uh, but as soon as I, like, since... Since the the uh, little raccoon stole the rest of the cheese, I assume what I have is the rest. There's really not much left. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I still I'm, have some in my hand. I'm starting to get pretty agitated because, like, I'm seeing that the cheese is withering. Yes. And that I'm, you know, they're belittling me like a child. So I'm I'm getting pretty frustrated, but I'm trying not to show that because they at least showed me hospitality. How does this look? When you get a little worked up, but you're trying to keep your cool, does this show in your mannerisms? Do you huff a little bit? Do you, what do you do here? Um, I just start pacing. So like I start pacing, to, uh, is there like a window or something or a there, balcony? There's not really, as far as I can recall, there's not really much of a balcony. The roof was like all on, open. And yeah, the I roof think we is, had, is latticed open. So I think we had one window each in our rooms is what you said, but there's nothing in that public area. It's, it's, they're very, very small windows. Yeah. Okay. So if there's not a window, I'm just kind of pacing around, rolling my shoulders, like just oh, eating man. my cheese. He's just waiting for the breakdown. He's going to two-step so hard, picking up change. <laughs> the metal breakdown's coming. Oh, <laughs> We're just boy. waiting for him to break out the old dance moves and shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing some dope shit right now, dude. It's like a modified two-step. 
So don't look at me, peasant. <laughs> it's like he has an agreement with gravity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Holy There's some shit. kind of agreement we could come to. Before tonight, <laughs> no, you took out the trash. That's uh, two weeks. <laughs> that's two weeks, bro. But he can't do anything because his his lips are chapped. <laughs> so exactly. I'm being very nice to him. Mm. Just because I'm treating him like an infant. Yeah. Also, like I'm cracking my neck. So like I'm rolling my shoulders, <clears throat> cracking my neck, eating my cheese, and like just trying to be like, okay. Showed me hospitality. Gave me cheese. They gave me wine. And I haven't had hookah since I was like first captured or stolen. Well, whatever. Enslaved. Did you say it was first Are you stolen? saying? Are you saying this out loud? <laughs> no, I don't say this out loud. Okay. You guys can can see All that right. there is some annoyance. All right. Well, uh, now that I have a little bit of drink in me, uh. Ronan, where'd you come from? You said you said you came from a box. Why again? I want to know more about you if you're going to be accompanying us. I'm sure. I hope. Well, <clears throat> I don't know that I really want to speak on that. Um, but I mean, you you know stuff and things. You said you were like pit fighting. I'm, I think right. Uh, I have no parents. The boss, he's, has a, he's probably going to die soon. Nefrani <laughs> is cursed at the moment. And <laughs> and Blocker is really old. So th there you go. That's what our group is like. Well, <laughs> oh, you can't be worse. <laughs> the boss is just oh, mad that. offended. Like, I fucking what? <laughs> I mean, he's oh. right. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, Blocker. <laughs> I've you seen the way you fight. It is reckless. Oh, yeah. It says you and... All oh, right, Sanjay, first time. You, you turned into a statue. It says all the people that got blown up by a grenade. Being a statue was quite... Uh, quite... Uh, fuck, that's the word I'm looking for. Pragmatic. <laughs> You're lucky those people were dumb and were blind, apparently. <laughs> Dalgor places back an empty what? gourd at this point. It's pretty clear that he has imbibed quite quickly and is taking it mostly to the head. He's definitely <laughs> wearing it on the sleeve at this point. It's a little tipsy. I would perhaps not provoke our guest. He is, uh, he could be quite the ally if we are to let him. <laughs> so no... to disrespect him so openly with such beefy forearms. I was calling you the statue, not him. He doesn't, has done nothing wrong yet. So I have no problem accepting him for now, I, I guess. That we've already had, oh, I'm tired. It's probably at this <laughs> point, Neferani <laughs> and Dankor, that you would notice that Palaka is without clothing entirely. In fact, has nothing but feathers covering up all of the important parts. Mm. The water's at least mm. probably not very see-through. It's pretty opaque at this point. Did you stand up? I thought you might have stood up. I I, I did this at one point. I didn't say it out loud because people were talking, but that was me sinking back down. Ah, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> uh, as a cat, it doesn't quite bother me. Sure. I would think. I would say, I mean, eventually the water's going to get cold and I am going to just like step out and probably not even go for a towel. Like just... Dripping oh, wet, like, yeah, I probably would because birds do that. So it would probably be kind of like a ruffle, you know, all all the way through, just like, and then uh, <laughs> I love it, and then just kind of, and then kind of walk over and like take some of. The, I assume there was like some some herbs and scents that were thrown into the bath as well to sort of, yeah, scent it. Um, I'll t I'll take some of those remainders and scoop them out, and uh, just like with a handful of wet stuff just kind of walk into the middle uh, not in the middle where everybody's sitting but where they're you know kind of like uh, maybe in like this alcove in the back which is actually like what houses two of the doorways to the rooms and start start making a spell circle around there okay uh and the purpose of this will be to try to to divine the purpose of the two mystery potions that i couldn't previously okay. 
All right, you know that you're going to need some time before you're able to discern that. Likely at the bare minimum of a day. Uh, sometimes, depending on how hard you fail, it could take upwards of a week, sometimes even a month. Um, but you're not really mm. sure, so you can try again uh, in the morning. Okay. I'm going to give you guys an opportunity here to discuss whatever it is for your plans for tomorrow. Things that you wish to do in the morning time. Because you finally arrived back with each other. We've had an introduction of the character known as Ronan. We've had the removal of Zanjavar, at least for temporarily so. Is there anything else that you guys wanted to share with each other? Any private moments speaking? Are there thoughts, concerns that you needed to convey to each other? Oh, yeah. There's a big one that was pointed out earlier out of character. Yep. Uh, a boss is sitting there and he goes, Oh, God, that team suck. Uh, speaking of, which one of you has the documents they're supposed to get? Yeah, I've got that Ooh. and some buying cheese in the morning and meats and whatnot. I, yeah, I got the papers, whatever. Darkor is clearly drunk at this point. <clears throat> He's got them. Do you reveal them? He's way too drunk. <laughs> he just knows that he has them. Okay. Well, this is good enough for me, so long as I didn't get blown mm. up by that grenade you unceremoniously dumped on everyone. Uh, there was an accident. This, yeah, that probably was my fault. <laughs> it didn't hurt me. Also, you know, is what it is. Life is all pain mm. and whatever. Screw this noise. I'm. Polaka, you put your damn spell sucker in front of me door. <laughs> <laughs> You walked across my spell circle. <laughs> well, how am I supposed to get to bed? That's my Step room too. Uh, you got chocolate in my peanut butter. <laughs> what are you blind? <laughs> you got peanut butter in my chocolate. <laughs> Ronan, you have a room. It's that one. Uh, Jamar used to be there. That's right. Um, there's your room now. I think I guess if you're here with us, I'm going I, to bed. I get my. On the room? We can uh, request a box if you'd like. <laughs> uh, a box? Why? Why would you put him in? Uh... He seemed quite comfortable in the one we found him in. Are you sure? Because he asked you to get him out. Well, he wanted to go back in. He's right here. Were you comfortable? No. You might have... not, not so no pretty. box. No more box for this guy. Uh, very well, then there is a uh, perfectly good room. Right there, it is yours. Mm. Cat lady, do you have more cheese, maybe? I can get more cheese for you. Can I sleep on the floor in your room and eat cheese? In my room? You don't want your own room? Not really comfortable with sleeping in the beds. Do you want to You can sleep on the floor in your own room. I don't like being alone. But I understand if you're on. No, 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 you can no. sleep. Let me go get you cheese. The, the boss, he stumbles past Don Carr and goes, She's got a puppy. It's adorable. Dog, <laughs> dog, where? That's my room. You can sleep on the floor. <laughs> Just know I'm a cat. I sleep with one eye open. I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> mm. No, it's cool. I can leave my sword in here. I just. I don't know. I'm not used to sleeping in a room by myself. That's okay. And plus, there's like the dickhead guy. He could show up. He's not a nice man. Should we lock the door? Does... <clears throat> oh, yeah, I thought you said your master would we not. still have enemies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you if he sleep in my room. Not. Little hmm. Ronan dude. I'll get you more cheese. As long as you don't call me little, I will eat all the cheese and sleep on the floors. Okay, Ronin dude, Ronin guy, Ronin, Ronin, just Ronin, or I, I, I like nicknames. Ronin is good. We're gonna work on that. You can't be the only one I don't call like Burb. Well, yeah, sure you can. Go, just go to sleep. I'll get you some cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I love the whole party just decided to get drunk after this fucking tomb, and now nobody knows what's going on because they're all. Oh, drunk. I'm not drunk. This is this is. Just, this is just Navarani. Yeah. I, I, drag, <laughs> I drag a hookah behind me too. Like I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. Perfect. He really is the group cat, despite that, the fact that we have a cat. 
At this point, Donkor is dropping his bag inside the room that he was with it, with Abasi and is just sprawled across the bed. <laughs> Perfect. We'll make sure that you guys get everything that you need up to this point. If there's anything that you wanted to get from Farhan at this point, he did say he was, was retiring for the evening. So you'll have to make sure that you can get anything else from your own personal stash that he brought up. But the night will go easy. It will be the first restful night that you've had in a bed. Comfortable, fed, clean, and a long while. And I get my scream HP back. That's right. You do get all one of that back. <laughs> that is accurate. Yeah. Easy enough. There will be scream, no there, there will be no cliffhanger on this. I'm just gonna give you guys an opportunity to break knowing that it's an easy night. Which is probably well deserved. Well, it's not like we don't have enemies. We still have to deal with the pook. We still have to they deal with- They probably don't even know we're the, back yet. Yeah, <laughs> like we have to deal with the consortium later. We, we still have to go talk to the priestess. Night where we relax? We yeah. probably have earned the- uh, <laughs> we probably are in the ire of somebody named Dickhead. Yeah, we, we still have a lot going on, and now there are four different sects that are in some way mad at us. I like what 10th Tech has said, which means that their tomorrow is going to suck. Yeah, tonight is is all for resting and cheesing. First thing I'm doing is going out and buy armor so I can deal with whatever sucks. <laughs> Perfect. All yeah, right, I guys. I gotta go replenish all my stuff because it got burned in a fire. This is where we call tonight's session. And I feel like I feel like it was pretty good. I feel like it was a, a solid introduction for the character, a good way for everyone to meet, and we're starting to establish newfound boundaries with Ronan as well. There's lots to figure out about the character, but that'll come in time, much like with everyone else. I'm guessing that it's probably going to be next session. Everybody seems to be super excited to talk about their fucked up backgrounds, which is kind of awesome. <laughs> so, until next week... Let's go ahead and give ourselves the rounds that we need to, uh, to advertise here. We're going to start with uh, D for Doncor. Tell us about you, buddy. What, what are you doing? Where can we find you? Hello, everybody. My name is D for Doncor. Like, Encore, but with a D. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We should have session one again. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can follow me on twitch.tv slash Koeji. I play a whole bunch of different games at this point. I don't even know what I do aside from... <laughs> have weird conversations and play games we're also raising money for saint jude i think also uh misty's doing the same thing so and I so is ryu i i finished mine i was just doing oh. 24 hour. it was like a short <clears throat> go ahead sorry but yeah so if you guys want to check us out that's awesome but remember subscribe to bummer not <sighs> lord lord ronan as played by ryu the red what you doing man where can we find you it's so weird to be called a different character name well, hopefully we don't have to do that again for oh a little while. Oh my god, I knew you were going to say that. Rodin's <laughs> dead. And hand me your character sheet. Next time he starts, he's been choked to death by the hookah in the middle of the night. We <laughs> wake, oh no. We wake up and find a hunk of cheese in his throat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know CPR! Yeah, we've <laughs> upset some guy named Dickhead and killed his goblet. <laughs> you were eating my palaka alive. <laughs> Whoops. Could happen. Well, guess, thanks. <laughs> Could happen. That, uh, <laughs> I'm I'm Re the Red. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Re the Red. Uh, mainly an MMO streamer. I've been playing a lot of Arcage, um, which isn't really mainstream, but it's making a good comeback. Uh, so new character means uh, I'm going to need more rerolls. So make sure you guys give all your Amazon primes. <laughs> so Bob, I don't know where you are. Like this way? Yeah, I'm there. So yeah. Subscribe with Twitch Prime. And uh, I'm I, I'm sad that uh, the party had to lose someone, but I'm I'm glad that I kind of like creeped in as a permanent solution. So it's been it's been really fun. Uh, it's it's definitely been great. Uh, not that I hated my first character, but uh, it's been great to make something that I can really like dive into RP wise. So yeah, I think he's he's been enjoyed thus far. I'm I'm really liking this. You're gonna dig a little further into your your goblinoid <laughs> heritage, and we're gonna see that. That's pretty cool. Palak of Attack, as played by Blacklight Attack. What you doing, man? Hi. What do you do these days? Uh, I'm Blacklight Attack. I can be found in select stores nowhere near you, <laughs> and, 
And uh, you probably won't find me anywhere. You can follow me on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash blacklightattack. I probably won't be streaming with any sort of regularity until Classic WoW comes out, because if I'm going to know life in Azeroth again, it might as well be live. So, yeah. and that's worry, we'll prop your body up for you, Nick. Please, please. I'm ready to sacrifice it to Classic WoW. Give me Classic WoW. That's all. Perfect. Neferani, as played by Hi. Misty, Imperial Girl. What you doing? Where can we find you? I am this. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Imperial Girl to uh, G-R-R-L. Uh, and uh, I am wrapping up my St. Jude fundraising this week. Uh, I am doing St. Jude Christmas on the 31st. So if you're interested in a really great time, um, I, it will be from 10 to 12 Eastern. Um, what we do is we find people who aren't at $500 yet and we anonymously get them up. To oh, that's awesome. It's amazing. It is tears and happiness and you're doing good things for people who are doing good things. And it's... There's, there's, there's no, there's, there's very few things in life that I find that, that are as good as St. Jude Christmas on Twitch. So I do that. I have Denver Comic Con this weekend or Denver, Denver Pop Culture Con, whatever the hell they're calling it now. Just why Nerval is here. This is, <laughs> he's been in chat, but he's, he's basically doing my work for me right now <laughs> so that I can role play. So thank you. Nice. Yay. So, and sub to Bub or not, because I don't need your prime subs. Bub needs your prime subs. Twitch Prime. Twitch yeah, Twitch Prime. prime. Oh, Twitch, Twitch Prime. To note prime. on the uh, St. Jude Christmas, Bub was actually the one that got me to 500 right at the very what? end. That wasn't me. That was I mean, it was an anonymous person that commented about the size of my hands. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, buddy. It's okay. You make you make me feel so much larger. That's all right, my friend. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> fucking wrestle at Bub, Bub, Bub Fest is coming. You can't you can't miss it. I uh, yeah, Panda I, and I'll set up a ring for you. I'm gonna be like RKO. Like it's gonna be great. <laughs> Perfect. Wait a minute. Like like the the old record label? Oh my God. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> Like Randy Orton. <laughs> Randy Orton, a place we've never seen it before, on a record label. Oh no! <laughs> Abasi, as played by JD Scientist. Jared, oh. tell us about you. What are you doing? Where can we find you? Holy shit, you guys can find me at twitch.tv slash JD Scientist or here on Tuesdays playing fat, stupid, and sad. I love Abasi. <laughs> He's a great character. <laughs> Uh, but I got a lot of shit going on in my life right now. I'm moving. I'm dealing with a bunch of stuff. I'm trying to start a business. I'm all over the place. So lately, my channel has been nothing but what can we just play the shit out of and be stupid? So I've min-maxed gold farming and guacamelee 2, a game that nobody ever asked for that min-maxing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to convince them to speed run it. <laughs> it's an awesome game. It's so much fun. I always thought it was a fighting game. I never knew it was a goddamn Metroidvania. I went, oh, it's clearly like, you know, maybe like a friendly beat em up. You put people in a ring. It's it's about luchadors. And buddy's mind's like, yeah, it was the, like the best nope. fucking Metroidvania of last year. And I went, the fuck did you just say? How have I missed out on both of these titles? Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely legit. But as you guys know, I'm Bub. I do this. That's what I do. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll try to do more Dead Space tomorrow. Likely Thursday, we will tackle and try to finish Dead Space 1 so it can move to 2 and clear that series before swinging back at either Dragon Age, potentially Dishonored or Mass Effect. Not sure which yet. Either way, we've got lots of games that we've never played before, and we're trying to get into them for the very first time. At least until WoW Classic claims my life, because apparently my virginity is being claimed by everyone in this call. Yes. So. So is mine. Yes. Yeah. And I'm here for it. Many Perfect. whelps! Oh, all the whelps. So fucking fight it! I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Man core. I know that if anyone's going to do it right, it's going to be these people. So, <laughs> we're going to get out of here so we can do the after show, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow with Shackled City, where we have a fight between the surviving folks of Cauldron, our heroes, and an army of 850 goblin vampires led by eight 12 year old. Multi level, multi spell leveled children that are also vampires. What? Yes. Yeah, it was pretty great last time. 
Look, I thought he was going to say Ronin for a second. I was like, am I missing backstory here? Yeah, he's been in the other game. He leads a vampire army. Tomorrow <laughs> is going to be brutal. In my we, side time. We will likely have a significant <laughs> amount of people in Cauldron die, and we might suffer some unfortunate player deaths at the hands of mm. several hundred goblinoid vampires. So, we'll see you guys there. Don't miss it. I love your faces, guys. Peace. We're out of here.